All right, welcome back to another episode of um, PlayStation Store Deals. My name is Tanatos DMC, and uh, I turned on my PS4 today, and this popped up. So apparently, there's essential picks, and it ends on March 17th. So let's take a look at uh, what's actually what are, what they're actually trying to sell us. Let's see. Hopefully, something good. And. Uh, Taking forever to open. What the heck? It's not my internet. I'm connected. So I guess it's the store. Maybe it's a uh, really nice sale and a lot of people are accessing it. Maybe. I hope it's not broken. Don't tell me it's going to crash. Well, there you go. There's nothing by. <laughs> okay, that's odd. Uh, maybe we should exit and try again. I'm not playing any games uh, right now, so that's really odd. Okay, let's go back and uh, let's go to the store this way. Yeah, I don't think it's loading. What the heck? I I'm online. I'm fully online. That's really odd. Okay, technical difficulties. That's gonna be an odd video. Um, I'm double checking if I'm online. Yeah, I'm online. Yeah, people are playing on their PS4s and one person is on uh, their PS5, so. Yeah. So save up to 60% according to this. And Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be the March uh, PlayStation Plus game with Farpoint. Farpoint is, I think, a PlayStation VR game. Uh, Remnant from the Ashes, I think it's a survival game. So that might be good. I don't think it's multiplayer, though. Uh, I'm looking forward to Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, that is if we can access the stupid store, though. Let's see. Let's access it here. Oh, here we go. So that worked. That's odd. Uh, okay, Ratchet and Clank. I think that's the game's about to come out. Uh, let's go to Essential Picks. We're gonna focus on that. But it looks like there's other stuff on sale. So that's good. Okay, so first up is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, I'm not much of a Call of Duty. Uh, fans, so I don't buy their games. I only play it when it's free. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the most recent one or they released another game. So we're gonna skip all this uh, Black Ops game, so th they're all the same. Um, NBA 2K21 for 20 bucks. That's pretty good, actually. That's really good. That's a good price. Um, okay, so, uh, I'm gonna skip the same games. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion. I didn't hear any good things about this game, so if you really like it though, it's $39.99 for the Gold Edition. That's not a bad price, because look, uh, from $99, it's down to $40. Bucks. Sims 4. I actually really like this game. I just stopped playing it uh, because uh, there's just so many other games that I have. And it's hard to make a video of it. Um, and most of the time, I'm only focusing on woohooing like the girls, so... Woohoo is like having sex with the girls in the in in Sims 4. It, just so you know. Um, let's see. Uh, they're all add-ons. Really expensive add-ons. Look, even though it's uh, 15 bucks, from uh, 20 bucks to 15 bucks, that's ridiculous. Cause look at that. Like all these add-ons, they all add up and they really get you. Um, let's see. Then we have Snow Runner. Thirty dollars. I think this is just a racing game, if I'm not mistaken. Unless it's something like you haul like I uh, materials and transport it, but I doubt it. Um, then we have Death Stranding. I highly recommend this game. If you don't have it yet, it's twenty two seventy nine. That's really good price. It's a really really good game, especially if you're you just want to relax and you don't want to do anything. Too, uh, too hyped up so you can go to sleep soon. Um, I recommend Death Stranding. 
Then we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey uh, for $14.99. That's a really good price. Supposedly, this is one of the better Assassin's Creed game after uh, Black Flag and uh, Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy. So uh, I do highly recommend this game. What is this? A season pass? Nah, screw that because uh, I'm pretty sure you can get a gold version. I've seen it for 20 bucks, like uh, the gold edition where you get everything. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd rather suggest to get that instead instead of like uh, the, se the separate uh, games or separate uh, buys. Is that, the, is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Anyway, uh, then we have A Way Out. This is a co-op game. So if you have a co-op buddy or co-op girlfriend, I do recommend this, uh, this game. You're basically two brothers trying to get out of prison. Um, supposedly it's fun. Um, it's kind of like uh, Uncharted 4, if you play that game. Um, so I do recommend this game. Next we have Dragon Quest XI. I don't actually have this game. Supposedly it's really good. Uh, uh, this is like the first Dragon Quest game on a PlayStation 4, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's turn-based. It's not like active time battle. You basically just play it like you would Final Fantasy X. But supposed to, supposedly it's really good. Um, next we have Steep. Uh, I think, is this the shooting game? You're like, no, I'm not. I'm thinking of some other game. But apparently this is a free PlayStation Plus game since I have it already. So yeah, I have this game, but I don't know anything about it. And I'm not into this type of gameplay, so meh. Then we have Bloodborne. I highly recommend this if you don't already have it. It's a really, really, really good game. Um, Bloodborne The Old Hunters. This is the DLC. Uh, since I've never finished Bloodborne, um, I won't buy it myself. But if you love Bloodborne, buy this. Uh, especially if you're planning on finishing Bloodborne. Uh, right now, I don't have the time to play Bloodborne, unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Then we have Dragon Ball 2 Xenoverse for 10 bucks. It's That's a really good price. Unfortunately, if you just play it right now, you're probably way behind other people that have already played it for like hours on end. And I do apologize if you hear my dog. Um, then we have Madden 21. I'm going to skip Madden games. Uh, let's see. Saints Row the Third Remastered. See, we had this for free on PlayStation Plus uh, on the PlayStation 3. But since they added the word remastered, you can't, you don't, you can't have it for free anymore. But it's still a fun game. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, I can recommend this game, especially on co-op. the The whole game is uh, playable, fully co cooperative, or if, if that's the word. But yeah, it's really fun. You're basically overpowered. Next, we have Final Fantasy 15 Royalty Pack, a Royal Pack. That's kind of weird. What is this? A level? And uh, no thanks. Uh, so add-ons, add-ons. Royal Edition. Is this the one that actually includes the game? If this includes the game, uh, then seventeen forty-nine is a really good price for it. I don't recommend just buying uh, what a level for seven bucks. No thanks. Next we have De Detroit Become Human. This is a free PlayStation Plus game, so you should have already have it. And uh, I do highly recommend this game. I still haven't uh, recorded a gameplay, uh, like my, my let's play on this, but eventually I will when I have time. Uh, it's just been, a, I've been busy with work and everything, every other things that's been happening. Uh, next we have City Skylines. I'm pretty sure this was free, but I guess this is the Mayor Edition? Mayor's Edition? Yeah, looks like. So we should have had uh, this game already. So I don't know why it doesn't say that I have it. That's really odd. But holy crap, it has a lot of uh, um, DLCs. Next, we have Dying Light. The following, I highly recommend this game. Like you, ha if you love um, adventure games, kind of like Skyrim or Fallout, this is like the zombie version of that 
game. I highly recommend uh, buying Dying Light. Uh, $17.99, that's not a bad price. Uh, this includes the full game plus the expansion pack. So the expansion pack is basically another game uh, inside this game. Um, the one thing though to know about Dying Light is if you like Dying Light uh, after you play it, uh, don't look forward to getting Dying Light 2 because uh, a lot of crap has happened. Um, they gave us a trailer but it was a fake trailer. Uh, it does not represent the actual game because there is no game. There is no Dying Light 2. So don't get your hopes up. A lot of things happened. Uh, supposedly, like they wasted the money they got from uh, from the, the first game. Anyway, we're gonna skip that. Uh, next we have Dragon Ball Fighter Z. So apparently this is a really good game. I highly recommend it. Next we got Crew 2. 22 bucks for a racing game. Meh, no thanks. Uh, the reason I say that is because Grand Theft Auto has all the racing that you can need, especially Grand Theft Auto Online. Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, is that how, what would you say? Um, this one though, this includes I think the first one, uh, the second one, and the third one, yeah. So Vice City and San Andreas and GTA 3. So this is a good buy if you don't have this game. Uh, Uno, card game. Um, yeah, why not? This is a four player game. If I'm not mistaken, let's take a look actually. Pretty sure it's a four player game. So it's a good family friendly game. And it looks like it's compatible with the PlayStation 5. Yeah, so up to four players. And looks like it's online too. Wow. I, don't, I can't imagine how you play this with other people. Especially if they uh, keep on like screwing you over with um, uh, like pick up four cards or whatnot. Uh, next we have Shadow of War. This is a free PlayStation Plus game, so you should have already had this. And I do highly recommend it if you haven't played it already. It's basically like Assassin's Creed uh, 4. And you get to kill everybody. All the orcs you want. And also build an army. Next we have Golf. Uh, we're going to skip all the sports uh, sports games. Uh, for Honor, um, this was a free PlayStation Plus game and looks like they didn't include it. So we should have gotten this game already. Uh, I didn't like it personally. I, I tried it. I didn't like it. LA Noir. Um, I had fun like screwing around in this game. Um, it's really hard to kill pedestrians. You can't treat it like uh, Grand Theft Auto. It's still, it's, it's okay. Um, not really my type of game. Uh, next we have WWE 2K Battlegrounds for $25. And no thanks, I'd rather buy the, the real type of uh, wrestling game. But then again, I hated the controls of the, uh, the, the most recent uh, wrestling games. Uh, next we have Nino Kuni. Uh, it's a remake. Looks like Revenant. Let's see. Huh. I thought this was a, a PS3 game. Uh, but it's for twelve dollars and seventy nine cents. Not not. That's not a bad price. That's a pretty good price. Uh, next, Rise of the Tomb Raider. I thought this was a free PlayStation Plus game, but it's, it's five ninety nine. That's not a bad. Um, next we have Stellaris. Uh, I didn't like Stellaris on the consoles. Um, I recommend this on PC if you're into space type games, but I don't know how it plays on consoles. Probably sucks. Uh, just my opinion. I don't know. Um, racing game. We're going to skip racing games until dawn. I highly recommend this game. It was fun. But it was a pain to uh, record because there's so many choices. Uh, and you, you can't go back in time to to replay it like you would in um, what's that game called? Life is Strange with um, Chloe and what's her name? Um, oh crap! I'd forgotten her name, and I really like that game. Anyway, next we have uh, Final Fantasy XII: The Zodiac Age. 
I highly recommend this. I bought this on a disc. Um, I still have it lying around somewhere, uh, all wrapped up in plastic. So, yeah, I highly recommend that game. Next, we have Lego Harry Potter Collection. Looks like you get, what, six games? Let's take a look. Probably a bunch of games. It's probably that type of game. Uh, yeah, year one through four and year five through seven. Is that like a whole game? Like year one is one whole game, year two another game? I don't actually know. I'm, I'm assuming it is. And I'm pressing circle. I can't go back. There we go. Finally. Okay. Now we have Gran Turismo Spec 2. Uh, I'm not into racing games, so I'm skipping that. We got Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. I highly recommend this game. Squall was like... Um, Final Fantasy VIII is my first Final Fantasy game that I've ever played and finished. So I highly recommend this game. Next we have Just Dance 2020. Uh, this is really good if you have the camera. I highly recommend this uh, if you want to exercise but um, be dancing while you do it. Next we have Marvel's Iron Man VR. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure I played the demo. Yeah, I, I did play the demo. Um, I don't know. It, it felt clunky. I don't know about the the real game though. So you could try the, try the demo first, see if you like it. Uh, I didn't like it because I had I have issues with the PSVR. It gives me bad motion sickness. Um, next we have Mad Max. This is a, a free PlayStation Plus game, so you should have it already. Next we have Code Vein Deluxe Edition. I have no idea what this game is, but let's take a look what it it is. It, it's probably an RPG. Looks like anime. Um, can we see screenshots? Yeah, looks like turn base. Uh, I don't like derpy anime looking characters. Look at that. He has no. Look at his face. It, it just doesn't match with the, the realistic background. What the heck? Terrible screenshot. Look how low rest the uh, uh, the weapon is, and looks like the sword is clipping through. You see that crap? Some bull crap right there. Oh wow, way too shiny. This looks like the crappy version of Monster Hunter. Yeah, I don't know if this is turn based. It might be action. Uh, yeah, maybe active battle. I don't know. Next, we have Overcooked. I highly recommend Overcooked. It's really fun for co-op, uh, and it's up to four players. Um, Astrobot Rescue Mission. I have this. It's a PlayStation VR game. I have it. I've never played it actually. Um, next, we have Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII. This is the original version. I thought I bought it. What the heck? Um, I, I do recommend this if you like Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy 9, I highly recommend this as well. I actually like this, but then I stopped playing near the part where you're in the sand dunes. Uh, right before you're about to change the disc to disc 3 if I'm not mistaken. Um, next we have Trials of Ma Mana. Uh, I'm not sure about this game. Pretty sure I think my cousin played it. I don't know if you liked it though. Uh, don't like. Uh, I don't like the character design. Uh, yeah, maybe not my thing. Uh, the Survivalist for sixteen fifty six. That's not a bad price. I've seen this on PC on Steam, so could be good if you like that this type of game. Next we have South Park: The Stick of Truth. I highly recommend this game. This game is stupidly fun, or if you're if you're a fan a fan of South Park, I I do highly recommend this. Next we have PlayStation VR Worlds. I got this for free, so I don't think it's worth buying because I got this for free. Uh, you could probably find it in GameStop for like a dollar. Uh, next we have Russia Blood. I highly recommend this game. This is like the best um, on rail shooter they have. Um, 
I just didn't record it. I forgot why. Uh, I think I recorded the first two levels, but then I stopped recording it. I think I had like audio issues or something. I don't remember. Next we have Gauntlet Slayers Edition. Uh, another free PlayStation Plus game. They're putting a lot of old PlayStation Plus games on here. Jump Force, if you're into anime, be other anime characters beating each other, then for $24.99, you can get it. Next, we have Shovel Knights. Uh, everybody knows what Shovel Knights is. That's overpriced. $27.99? That's ridiculous. Uh, then we have Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. This is new. Might be an expansion pack or something. For $6.99, that's not a bad price. Uh, Need for Speed Deluxe Editions. Racing game, we're skipping it. The Cydia Final Fantasy. I honestly don't like the idea behind the Cydia. It's basically just an arena mode. Really boring arena mode. You do the same thing over and over again, then they call that a game. I don't like it. Next we have... Because it's, it's basically a mod, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I played... Uh, if you play, played... Um, what was that game? Dragon Ball uh, on old Steam. Uh, I was like... I forgot what... It, I forgot what the... What it was, but it was um, playing Dragon Ball on ha Half Life. It was a Half Life mod, but yeah, that's what it feels like to me. It's just it just feels like a mod. Um, next we have Metro Exodus Gold Edition for twenty bucks. Holy crap, that's a good price. I highly recommend. It's basically like um, a nicer, cooler version of Fallout Four, but not as good as Fallout Four. Um, it's hard to explain. Um, next we have Prison Architect. I highly recommend this game. Prison Architect, you're gonna have fun. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say torturing your prisoners, but that's what I do. I don't know how you you would handle your prison, but what I basically do in my prison is make um, isolation chambers for everybody, and that's a, that's it. They don't get normal prisons or. Um, well, yeah, they don't get normal cells. I, I put them all in isolation isolation chambers. And that way I keep my my police secure or my jailer secure and no one gets stabbed. I mean, it's extremely safe, uh, my prison, but it's like... You don't want to be a prisoner in my prison, basically. Um, next we have Firewall Zero Hour. I have this game. Uh, it's a free PlayStation Plus game, so you should have, have it already. Um, it's basically like the best uh, multiplayer shooting game on PSVR. I still haven't tried it. Uh, I forgot why. Oh, yeah. Um, it's I downloaded it, but then my hard drive crashed. And I totally forgot about it after that. Yeah, I never got to play it, but I did install it. Hoping to play it, but then my I had hard issues. Um, next, we have Surviving Mars. I thought this was a free PlayStation Plus game, but maybe not. Secrets of Mana for twenty bucks. If you're into RPGs, look into this. Oh wow, this is a better bundle. Overcook with Overcook Two. Uh, this is a good price, ten bucks. This is a really good, especially the second game. It's uh, you can play online uh, much better. Um, next we have Batman Arkham Knight Premium Edition. I'm pretty sure we got this free for on PlayStation Plus, so I'm not sure if this is worth it. World of Final Fantasy Maxima. Uh, I think this is a, the Crystal. Yeah, I think this is a co-op game. Not sure. Anyway, uh, same game. Let um, me skip it. Uh, Age of Wonders Planetfall. I think this is a... Uh, this, this is a free game. Like a mobile game, if I'm not mistaken. Next, we have Dishonored. 10 bucks. That's not a bad price. Um, Warface. Uh, I have no opinion about Warface. So we're going to skip it. Um, I'm going to skip like a lot of the uh, free-to-play games. Unless they stick out to me. Next, we have Final Fantasy Type-0. I have no idea what this game is about. So I'm going to skip it. Um, we're almost in the 30 minute mark, so I don't want to 
take too much uh, time in this video. The Inpatient. Ten, ten bucks. This is a good game. Or this might be a good game. But this might be interesting if I bought it and then record it. Hmm. I'll think about it. I do have till... I think, let me see. Till the 17th? Uh, till the 18th. So, yeah. So, so I still have uh, 15 days to decide. Hopefully I remember. If I don't remember, then I won't be able to buy it. Um, I think this is a DLC. Multiplayer comrades. Ugh. Everybody's gone to the Rapture. This is a free PlayStation Plus game, so you should already have it. Um, it's basically a walking simulator with with the usual story, so it might be good. I never played it. Um, Chocobo Mystery Dungeon. That looks weird. Wow, normal price is forty bucks. It's now twenty. Uh, I don't know if that's my thing, so I'm gonna skip it. Uh, Monster of the Deep. Uh, no thanks. I'm gonna skip that. Assassin's Creed Triple Pack. So you get Black Flag um, and the Syndicate game. Um, Black Flag is a great game. I'm not sure about uh, Syndicate. I had fun with Unity, but uh, not a lot of people liked it because of the graphical glitches and whatnot. And it ran like crap. Um, but I had a lot of fun uh, when I played it co-op because uh, we were screwing around a lot. I had fun with the co-op in uh, in Unity. And next we have Ukulele. What the crap is this? What is this crap? A uh, kitty game? Could be a kitty game. Oh, okay. It's not like Rayman. Or it could be like Rayman. So a platforming game. Or maybe not a platforming game. Uh, huh. Might be interesting. Kind of like uh, Donkey Kong. Hmm. It's not bad. $13. Um, that might be good. Just got 4 Gold Edition for $14.99. Uh, honestly, I've never finished a Just Cause game. I just like kill everything that I see and destroy everything I see. Next, we have Riggs Mechanized Combat League. Um, this is a free PlayStation Plus game, so you should have it already. Um, honestly, I didn't. I tried it, didn't like it. It feels like I had motion sickness in this game. Uh, like I feel like I'm lurching forward and. It, it, it was a weird feeling. I don't recommend this if you have issues with motion sickness uh, when playing PSVR. Next we have Final Fantasy Pocket Edition. Ugh. That's like milking the game or the series. Uh, Warface, skipping that. Super Stardust, an add-on. But anyway, I, I really love Super Stardust, especially on PlayStation 3. Uh, I spent way too much time on uh, Super Stardust, but I think this is the PSVR edition. Yeah. Next, we have No More Heroes Allowed VR. This might be good. I actually like. Um, uh, what did I do to deserve this, my lord? Um, that's what the game was called on the old PSP. Um, but this is No Heroes Allowed VR. So I might buy this. I'll think about it. Uh, more Final Fantasy 15 stuff. We're gonna skip them. Wow, they're really milking the crap out of this game. I wonder how much money they made. Cause R and D to make all that graphics. Yeah. But um, the reason I didn't like, or, or I didn't buy Final Fantasy 15, is because uh, Nomura or whatever his name is, the original creator, my favorite. Uh, Final Fantasy creator um, I think he got uh, screwed by the company so um, they didn't go with his vision so that's why I skipped this game um, next let's see City Skyline looks like it's mostly add-ons down here yeah uh, all add-ons DLCs and whatnot holy crap look how much money they tried to uh, 
to get you with Sims 4. Holy balls. Anyway, um, that's it for this episode. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if another PlayStation Store deal pops up, I'll try to inform you guys to make another video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And I'm just going to hang around here for a bit just to look at what else is in here on uh, the deals. And also talk about what's happened uh, on my end. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, it's like two weeks. Um, we had a Texas freeze that caused a lot of problems. And then after the Texas freeze, uh, we went to Florida uh, like a family trip. So took a while. Two weeks later, we're, I'm back. And then I'm also back to work. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. I guess the game's under $15. I'm gonna take a quick look, but the video ended already. I'm just, yeah, just looking at stuff. Anyway, I, I also started playing, uh, Kenshi again while during while I was uh, out on vacation um, Warhammer 2 so I ended up playing those games and I spent way too much money on this new world uh, the ticket was $125 for one person uh, we ended up spending what $600 uh, the meal per person is like 15 uh, the drinks were $4.19 for like a 12 ounce Coke or water. Yeah, it's ridiculously overpriced. Um, the parking was $45. Yeah, ridiculous bullcrap. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it. So yeah, I'm broke. Anyway, uh, later. I'll see you guys later.